What's up you guys and welcome back to another video. So in this video, I wanted to talk about something very, very important to me uh, for the year 2020. Something that's important to me in general, but specifically for 2020, because it was something that was kind of shadowing over me for a long time. And it just really made my, my quality of life not so great when I would think about it, um, that being debt. Now, I went into 2020 with about $30,000 worth of bad debt. So when I say bad debt, I mean credit card debt, car loans, uh, consolidation loans, personal loans. What I'm talking about really is just the bad debt and the debt that, that really you shouldn't really have um, if you're trying to save money and you know be smart with your money. Now, good debt is smart. Good debt being you know a mortgage or a house, um, you know things of that nature, things that you're gonna be able to pay off and actually have something to show for it, as well as you know, things that you need. So like a mortgage or like a house, you need that, you need to live. So that's good debt. Um, there's various reasons why it is good debt. It goes up in value, stuff like that. But what I'm talking about here is the bad debt. So the things that you really don't need, the things that aren't a necessity, and just the, the debt that you don't really wanna have for the rest of your life. So coming into 2020, I realized that I was paying so much in interest and so much money was going towards the the banks that were loaning me this money and not not a lot of it was going to the principal and in the beginning of 2020 i kind of sat down and i looked at all my debt and i was wondering you know when am i going to pay this off and get a better understanding of how much money i would be paying to actually use that that debt or use that money that they were giving me or letting me borrow i should say and really all of it was just bad debt. All of it was just stuff that I didn't necessarily need. And it was all just things that I kind of wanted or kind of put myself in a situation to where I needed that money. So I soon realized that I just needed to change my ways and I needed to make a change and do something about this and get rid of all of this bad debt because I didn't want it on my name anymore. I, I hated looking at, at the debt to income ratio that I was making and looking at all my debt, all the money that I owed. And I just, I didn't, it didn't set well with me and I just hated that. So I'm sure you feel the same way. I'm sure you're looking at debt and you're just, you know, disgusted with it. Um, sometimes you need it. Sometimes you, you have to have it. Sometimes it'll help you in certain situations, but especially if it's bad debt, if it's debt that goes to a car or goes to credit cards and stuff like that, you really don't need that. And you know, you should really try to think about actually putting all that all that debt aside and getting rid of all that debt. That way you can have more money in your pocket, in your bank account. So the first step that I took towards this was really just cutting back on my spending and cutting back on everything that I was buying. So that's not to say that I would just not buy things. I would just figure out different ways to buy cheaper things, the things that I needed, and buy things that are, were only necessary. I didn't want to buy anything that I didn't really need and I would always you know double think about about certain things that I would be buying. So after I started doing this in the beginning of 2020 and I have to note that it wasn't very hard. It was pretty easy not to go out and spend money because of pretty much the, the world was closed down. So it, it wasn't very hard to actually just stay in, not go out and spend money and just really focus on keeping my money in my bank account and saving as much money as possible. Now with this money, I wanted to, or with all this extra money, I wanted to just chip away at my debt. So at the time I saved up quite a bit of money. I had, had some money in my bank account or in my savings account. And I knew that I had to use that money to get rid of all the debt and get rid of all the, the unnecessary interest that I was paying towards all these credit card companies and these, these banks. And unfortunately it didn't really feel right or it didn't really feel good that I was taking all the money from savings and just all the money that I had just paying off the debt. But I realized that you know that, that money that I, that I owed to these banks and that I owed the, to these credit cards really wasn't my money and it was pretty much my fault that I got all of that debt in the first place. So. I figured, okay, I'm gonna use all my savings, or not all my savings, but most of my savings, save up more money, just cut back on spending, use that money to chip away at that debt and just get rid of all of the credit card debt and the loans that I had. Now, my biggest expense was my car. So last year, or in 2019, I actually bought a car that I really didn't need. It was just more or less a, a want that I wanted and I put myself in debt to buy it. So. At the time, I thought it was, I was smart. I was you know, making good money, I could pay it off, but at the end of the day, when you really look at it, you shouldn't be paying a lot of money for a car that you don't need, right? So I saw that that was my biggest expense. So what I did with that was, I was in a, or a good situation to where I would be able to sell that car 
and use that money that I sold it from to pay off what I owed. So uh, it was a little bit different of a situation than a regular car loan. Um, more or less, I actually owed a lot more in interest because it was actually a personal loan for a car. It wasn't necessarily a car loan. So with personal loans, the, the, the interest rate is usually higher. So that kind of you know wanted me to get rid of that you know more because it was at I believe a seven percent interest rate. Usually car car loans are about three, maybe four, a little bit lower sometimes. So that really kicked the gear to make me making me want to actually pay it off. So what I did with that car is I sold it and I sold it for a little bit of a profit. Um, so I did pocket a little bit of money um, once I sold it. At the grand scheme of things, I didn't really make money on the deal, but I did pocket a little bit of money because over the time of me buying that car, I actually paid a lot in interest and I put some money into the car on repairs, stuff like that. So I didn't necessarily profit off of it, but I did pocket some money from what I owed on the loan. So I sold the car, I paid off the loan, I got rid of all of that debt. And I think that was about $18,000 worth of money that I owed to the bank. So again, I'm, I was in a pretty good situation with that. I'm, I'm sure it doesn't happen to everyone. Um, a lot of times you're going to buy a car and then sell it for a lot less than what you bought it for. Um, in my situation, that didn't happen, luckily, but in most cases, that usually is the case. Um, before that car, actually, just to touch on, I actually did buy another car before that, put myself in about $30,000 uh, just on the car loan, and wanted to get rid of it, get rid of that, that payment, wanted to get something different at the time. That's kind of where my mindset was. So I actually sold that car for less than what I owed on it. So I did take a hit on that. I did go... Um, negative on on that deal so I, I believe I owed about three thousand dollars to the bank after I sold it and that was actually getting rid of a lot of a lot of my debt from that car but I still owed money so more or less that was another loan that I kind of transferred over to the new year of 2020 that I had to pay back so luckily I bought a used car that I paid about eighteen hundred dollars for and it does everything that the the nice car did you know uh, it gets me to point a to point b it's a nice it's a nice car it's a it's a decent car for me that's all i really need and for the price you can't beat it and at this point now i don't have any car loans that i that i need to pay back and i'm not paying any interest on it it's not on my name and it just feels really good to not have that eighteen thousand dollars that i owed on that car just hovering a, a above me and just you know kind of haunting me because I, I just hated that feeling and I'm sure you do too. If you're watching this video, you probably don't like debt. So um, really you just gotta find a, a way to get rid of your debt and get rid of the debt that you don't need. Where there's a will, there is a way. So you can get rid of that debt if you just figure out a way to do it. So that wasn't the only thing that I had. I also had credit card debt as well as consolidation debt. And that's when it gets pretty bad is when you consolidate all your credit card, all your credit card debt into a loan to where you have to pay off that loan. At that point, you should really know that, you know, things are getting pretty bad and that's kind of where I was at. I pretty much racked up credit cards. I put a lot of a lot of things on credit cards, buying dumb things like clothes and just, just things that I didn't need or even things that I did need like gas and I would just put it on a credit card, but I wouldn't pay it back right away and I would just leave the balance on the credit card. So over time, everything just kind of piled up and I just racked up a lot of debt to where I got to a point where I was paying a lot of interest on those. So I think the smart thing to do was to put it into a loan or consolidate it into a loan and just pay one payment to that loan. And usually that, that way you can cut off the debt pretty quick. Um, it is a good option for some people. It just depends on your situation, but I just kind of took that route and figured it would be easier to pay off every month. I would be paying probably a little bit less and I'll probably be paying a little bit less in interest as well. But just the fact that you have to do that, you know you're in a bad situation. But nonetheless, I did that. I consolidated all into a loan. And what I did to get rid of those loans was like I said, I just live really frugal. I didn't spend a lot of money. I saved a lot of money and I used a lot of my savings to just cut away on that debt. And that's kind of where I was in 2020. My focus was just getting rid of all of my debt. I wanted to go down to zero. I didn't want to owe banks any money. And I just wanted to own all my stuff. Now that does come with a cost. You are going to not have the nicest things. You're not going to have everything that everybody else has. You're not going to have the nicest car out of your friend group. Uh, you're not going to have, you know, little things here and there around the house. Um, it does come with a cost, but if you want to be able to save money and you think that having money in the bank account or just in your pocket is better than having you know little things here and there, 
um, then I really believe that it is worth it. And that's where I kind of was. I didn't really care about the things anymore. I didn't care about having materialistic things. I didn't care about having a nice car. I really just wanted money in the bank. That way I know I'm, I'm safe if anything were to happen. And 2020 has really showed us that anything can happen. You can lose your job. You can lose pretty much everything. That kind of goes to show that you should have a savings account or you should have an emergency fund and just be safe around everything. So like I said, over the year, I just chipped away at all of that dumb debt that I didn't need, all the credit cards, all of the consolidation loans, everything that I just really didn't need just so I can get myself to $0 that I owed to anyone. And once I did it, I realized that it really wasn't that hard. It wasn't a big issue. I just really wanted to put my mind to it and make sure that I got rid of all of that debt because I knew that once I did and I had that zero balance, it would be a really good feeling. And that's where I'm at right now. I don't owe anything and it feels darn good, honestly. I, I love not having any debt. Um, I might not have the nicest car, I might not have the nicest things, but I would much, 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 much rather have all that money in my bank account and not have to pay others to let me borrow their money. So really my next step for 2021 and just on is to keep it that way. Um, I wanna get some debt, I wanna get more debt, but I wanna get good debt. I wanna get debt that is gonna benefit me and that really is going to work in my favor. So I'm just gonna continue to live frugal and just see where, where, where everything takes me. Um, all in 2020, I started a business as well. So I used some money to, to start that up and I just wanna just continue to build up my, my portfolio and just build up my income and you know hopefully stay out of debt. I know it's very, very hard to do, um, but I think I'm in a right mindset to, you know, not bring on another car loan, bring on, you know, credit cards and whatnot. So I'm just gonna do that and uh, hopefully everything will pan out correctly. So my best advice would be to just set your mind to it, set your mind to paying off everything. Do what you gotta do to make extra money and do what you gotta do to not spend a lot of money. It really just comes down to that. So save the money, chip away at your debt, uh, pay everything off as soon as possible, figure out you know creative ways to do this and you will get rid of it. I did this all within 2020. I did it probably within about eight months or so. So it really isn't that hard. And like I said, it feels so good to not owe any money. With that said, go ahead and like, subscribe and ring the notification bell, do all the YouTube things that you need to do on this video. If you like videos like this, let me know in the comments and I'll see you guys in the next one, later.